Hello everyone, this is a quick tutorial and a quick overview of the Java Maze Solver application. So you can create your own mazes and apply the algorithms to either search the whole maze or find the shortest path. So let's just have a quick look over the drop down menus we have. We have the option to exit out of the application we have the option to save the currently created maze in our interactive UI or open a maze that was previously s saved or that was shared to us in the board drop down we have the option to basically create a new board that just deletes everything in the board or uh, since this application also provides the visualization of the algorithms uh, you can clear the search results uh, that was previously applied as a result of the algorithms you'll see in a second what that means and we have the options of we have the drop down menu of the algorithms we have three algorithms that are currently supported depth first breadth first and a star all of three but the depth first search provide a uh, the finding of the shortest path so only these to provide the shortest path and we have the fourth option to basically set the time that it takes to visit each node this is really handy when you really really want to visualize the algorithm so let's just see how you can create a sample maze so with the left click of the mouse you can just create walls that just tells the programs that the these these black nodes are not traversable they are walls and with the right click of the mouse you can set the target node that the program aim, aims to find and with the middle mouse click you can set the uh, the beginning path the beginning node so to see how the algorithms work let's just open up the maze in the sample directory so we have our maze I'm just going to change the location of the target node and let's just set the time that it takes to search a maze search a node I mean to 25 milliseconds and then let's just apply a breadth first search first so blue ones are represented as the already searched and the orange ones that are flickering are the nodes that are currently being searched so let's just clear search results and apply depth first search just like I told you before depth first search does not support finding of the shortest path it just explores the maze so you can see basically see the space complexity and time compl complexity if you want to and let's just clear this again and apply a star search So just like I told you, the orange one are the orange nodes are the shortest path, and the blue ones are the nodes that we have explored in the algorithm. So let's just clear our search results, and that's just basically it. Uh, at the time of the uploading this video, uh, you'll probably find uh, two or three more mazes in the sample directory that I plan to update, and that's pretty much it. Hope you like this uh, application and have fun with it.